Hello, and welcome to another First Impressions video brought to you by MMO Play. It's been a while since we got a new one, so we're going to jump back into the action. We got Arctic Combat. It's a new upcoming first person shooter brought to you by Webzen. So, we're just going to take a look at uh, the basic character. This game is currently in beta. There's some giveaways. Go check it out and see by registering, or just go to the website and see if you can get in. So, here we go. Just going to get into the game. It's going to start with a tutorial. We're going to just look at it briefly. We're going to exit out a little bit before we're done. It's just more showing off the graphics before we get into the gameplay where, well, it's a shooter, so you're going to see me dying a lot. Yep. I'm bad at shooters. Actually, at this point, well, in this one, it was, uh, we were just pinned to the back of the base, so. Alright, so you can see it's got standard controls. WASD movement, it's got left click to shoot, right click to zoom. R to reload. Shift sprint, control crouch, and C will lay prone. Looks like the tutorial, the first thing I gotta do right here is just kind of highlight the targets. That was giving me a little bit of trouble, but I got it figured out. And now it's going to show me the WASD movement. It's a little slower. I wish it could just say it has WASD movement and all at once. I'd just do them once, but whatever. And Tab's going to show me this. I'm going to sit here and be kind of confused for a while. We're going to skip that. Because I was waiting for an update and, well, I wasn't going to get one. So I'm going to move to the obstacles. I'm going to fast forward just a touch. Alright, here we go. I finally figured it out. and Just crouch underneath some obstacles and then we're going to jump over these. There we go, just do some jumping. Ladder, nothing you have to push for a ladder, just gonna go, oop, and there you go. Oh, look out, fall damage. Yes, don't jump too far, there's fall damage, those health packs will heal you. But, let's get into an actual game. We're tired of looking at the tutorial. I mean, it's a shooter, and I haven't got to shoot anything yet. Alright, actually, we're gonna go towards the end of the tutorial, right here, where I actually do get to shoot some bots rather than some players because, well, at least I can kill them. So it looks like I do have a hundred life and kind of just staying full. I'm crouching to reload because, well, I played Mass Effect and I just have to crouch to reload. And I'm also doing the kind of silly thing where I just keep reloading even though it's not fully empty. Headshots do extra do damage to so try for them, but I mean like they're uh, two shots and kill them compared to Probably half a dozen body shots. It looks like I just about finished with my little training session here. I gotta kill 20 of these guys. Oh, it's a little further away. There we go. Got him. Looks like I'm running out of ammo. Oh, never mind. I have like 800 shots. I'm good for a while. Alright, so now let's get into an actual death match. Alright, I just loaded into a random team death match, and you can see I'm blue team. We're. Well, by the way, um. Uh, if you just didn't figure out, this game does have some language, so... So if you don't want kids to hear some F-bombs, you might want to skip this game and find something else, because... Well, every time you die, you hear that. And, well, I'm gonna die a lot right now, so... Apologize for the rest of the video. Oof, there's a grenade. So you can see the problem here is we're just pinned back to our base, we spawn, come out, and boom. But look at the score, I mean, it's 800 to 250. I could have told as soon as I walked in that this was not gonna go well. You can see guys that die, they do drop health packs. Not that does much good. Seems like you do get, like, two shot here. So I don't know if maybe the problem is that I don't have good gear and you can unlock new stuff later. I'm hoping it's not pay to win. Uh, I'm not a fan of first person shooters that are pay to win. By that I mean go to the store and buy newer and better equipment. I'm actually more of a fan of just, you know, if I'm going to play a first person shooter, I want it to be skill based. If I'm going to play an RPG, that's fine, I don't mind progression. But it's, I cannot say for sure one way or another after five, ten minutes of gameplay, so too far to make. Oh! That was a helicopter. That's not good. Alright, let's try dropping some grenades. By the way, I haven't gotten a single kill yet. I've just died every time. Although they're not in there, thankfully. Hit four to pull out your grenades. I think you only start with a handful of them at first. Jeez. I wonder if it's just the fact they're headshotting me and my aim is terrible, or if it's like they just have better equipment. Click the game, check it out. It is available for free. It's in beta right now, so you have to sign up. Click the content, say two more videos from MMO Play. Get someone. Nope. 